Welcome back for another Solana price prediction analysis and in this video I will be sharing my next price targets and also give you reasons why Solana can see a break above the $26.88 mark in the next coming hours and also possibly see a break above the $30 mark in the next coming days and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and at the time of this recording Solana is holding below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up we have also continued to obey the edu structures where we have been seeing a bit of a breakdown move in the formation of these way 4 in a move that has now managed to get into the minimum retracement areas highlighted on the charts using this yellow target area which is an area that we have now fully maximized and there are high chances that Solana now has a law in place for the fourth wave and we can see a reaction of the target area and start gearing up impulsively in the formation of the wave 5 which is what we expect after seeing a breakdown move in the formation of that wave 4 and before I give you minimum target areas for the wave 5 I can first give you a recap of what has been happening basing it on the edu structures since the 10th of June when we saw this massive crash giving us a low at around the $12.87 mark and after seeing that low we started gearing up obeying the edu structures where we first put in place the high for this first wave so a breakdown move in the formation of that wave 2 we saw this massive pump in the formation of this wave 3 fully maximizing minimum target areas that I gave you on the charts basing it on the trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave where you can see that we fully maximized the FIB level 1.618 broke above it and fully maximized the FIB level 2.618 and we had a high in place for the third wave and started breaking down in the formation of this wave 4 and now we have a low in place for the fourth wave and soon Solana can see a reaction of the target area and give us a high in the formation of that wave 5 and giving you minimum target areas for the wave 5 by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the high of the wave 3 I get a minimum target area for the wave 5 at the fib level 0 0.618 and that is at around the $35.21 mark and that is the minimum that I can expect Solana to do in that breakout to the upper side so the moment we see Solana break above structures over here and I can also give you this trend line here on the charts the moment we see a break above this trend line and also see a break above resistance at around the $26.88 mark maybe see a successive retest and continue gearing up here on the charts then that is enough confirmation that we are now getting impulsive in the formation of this wave 5 and for me and this is not financial advice the moment Solana is able to break above this white descending trend line see a break above $26.88 mark and maybe we get a 4 hour close above it then that will be time for me to open a long trade to the upper side to catch that massive pump in the formation of that wave 5 and that is what I'm expecting on the short term and if I zoom out I can still give you my long term analysis where you can see that after seeing the December lows we picked in a 5 wave structure having the wave 5 giving us a high at around the $27.31 mark then we saw a breakdown move in the formation of these larger ADO 12 counts too into the minimum retracement areas highlighted on the charts using this yellow target area we fully maximized the target area and we started a very nice reaction to the upper side in the start of an impulse in the formation of this wave 3 and as a result of the impulsiveness in the formation of that wave 3 you can see that I have a 5 wave structure that I'm tracking because of the impulsiveness in the formation of that wave 3 
where I'm expecting the wave 5 to fully maximize our minimum target areas in the formation of that wave 3 and taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported on the RSI we are trading at around the 43 mark fully supporting higher prices on the MACD we have been able to print a bearish cross though we are seeing a sharp decrease in the selling momentum suggesting that soon we might be able to print a bullish cross so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I will be keeping you updated.